Hey guys, what's up? So today we're looking at the Tech Syndicate Standard Issue Mouse. And as you can see here, it comes in this nice cardboard box that has the Burning Earth logo on it and is actually fairly easy to open to get to the mouse. The mouse size-wise comes in like the range of like the Death Adder or Zoe EC1. It's for people with small hands, it's going to be a little bit large. For me, I have uh, kind of middle-sized hands, I guess. And I was able to palm grip the mouse fine, which is my preferred uh, method. The mouse for $35 comes in a nice rubber coating like you would rubber coat your Johnson for that girl you brought home at the bar. And I don't know, on rubber coatings they're kind of hit and miss. Sometimes they wear it out and just become shiny, sometimes it becomes sticky, so the only time will tell with this mouse. The end of the cable actually comes with a nice gold plated USB to cut down on wear and tear. And the cable itself is rubber coated instead of braided and they say that this helps cut down on, on the weight of the cable and the drag. So far I've not had any issues with that. On one side of the mouse you have a nice textured rubberized finish for a grip and on the opposite side of the mouse there's a front and back button with a sniper button that lowers the sensor DPI to 500. On the top of the mouse there's a nice uh, CPI adjustment up and down to adjust the Pixar 3310 sensor from 1000 to 5000 and 1000 uh, CPI increments. The primary left and right click buttons have been upgraded to Omron 10 million clicks which have been CAT approved as you guys can see. And the middle mouse wheel has very good uh, scroll stepping with what Kane told me is that he thinks it's been upgraded to 5 million clicks. On the bottom you can see it has this nice hexagon sort of grid pattern going on here and the two Teflon feet which from my point of view when I used it I couldn't find any inconsistency issues between the front, front and back feet. Uh, it had plenty of slide on it and uh, was very nice. On the bottom of the mouse is the Pixar 3310 sensor which is uh, very widely praised and Logan and Kane suggested that you guys actually use a black mouse pad with this thing because it's a tech syndicate mouse. It has to be metal. So here with the mouse plugged in you can actually see the tech syndicate logo lit up in purple. It does use purple LEDs and the uh, mouse itself it kind of has this like very subtle it's not like overbearing bright and with the mouse wheel it almost looks kind of like this black light UV LED one of the things I really like about this mouse is it does pull at a thousand hertz. Um, that's not advertised, so I wanted to test it here, and it turns out it is on average actually doing a thousand hertz. Uh, it does it without you having to set anything in any kind of software. The mouse doesn't need any kind of software. This actually is a pretty good gaming mouse for people on Linux that don't want to figure out ways to communicate with mice that don't have software on that operating system. Here I was testing uh, mouse predictability to see if it was doing anything and as, as far as I could tell it's just raw input. It's not straightening out my lines. I'm just trying to draw straight lines here to see what's going on and I could not pick up any predictability whatsoever. It was showing all my flaws trying to draw a straight line which I don't do very well. So I tested this in a few games like uh, Rainbow Six, which unfortunately didn't record right for me, and Insurgency. Insurgency is kind of my go-to game. It uses Source Engine. And here I was testing Flex to see how it would uh, do on tracking, if it would lose anything. And it, it didn't. It held steady. I tested uh, Liftoff Distance. The liftoff distance on this mouse is very, very low, so that's not going to be an issue for you. The mouse all around is well weighted, so when you pick it up, you don't have any front heavy or back heaviness to it. It's all all the weight's pretty much dead in the center. So the weight of the mouse, like lifting it off, didn't feel too much either. Um, I checked it out on the scale, and it said it was 130 grams, which is good because it's advertised as 125. So it's pretty much on the mark there. I would probably put the extra five grams as just like the cable dragging off the side of the scale. And as you can see, I had no problem pulling off headshots or anything. Typically when I play Insurgency as a sniper, I like to set my CPI down to about 500. And on this mouse, unfortunately, it really only goes down to about 1,000. But it seemed plenty, plenty low enough, and if I need that little extra, uh, like, 
critiquing for my shots, I could actually use the sniper button, which worked out pretty well, but it was a little bit out of the way even for my big hands. It felt like it was a little bit too far forward on reaching or whatnot. So you guys here can see where that uh, CPI adjustment came in very handy so I could adjust for the new weapon that I had. And I was pulling off some pretty good shots with it. Other than that, I didn't have any real problems with the mice. I think because it's in an existing body and they changed the switch type, uh, there's a little bit of like play or travel in the primary left mouse click for me. And when I would shake the mouse checking for sensor rattle, which is something you tend to see on budget mice, I was getting a rattle, it wasn't coming from the sensor at all, As a matter of fact it has no rattle, which my more expensive mice do. Um, it, the rattle was coming from the click itself, once you've got your hand on it you're not going to hear it during fast motion and stuff like that. But for $35 it's a killer mouse, I can't complain, and I really love that you don't have to use any software. Alright, so that does it for the video today, if you guys liked what you saw make sure to give a thumbs up, if you didn't give a thumbs down. And be sure to follow me on Twitter at Cell Processing for more news and stream times. It's basically a stream when I feel like it now. So I will definitely see you guys in the next video.